roping them long enough, like just out there, to make you itch. I'm sure if you were to eat them without plants, you're gonna make you sick. Turn that thing more that way. Now, if you do them at your house as well, you gotta watch your pets and your babies with them. They are highly toxic to them. You can get in there and eat any of that. In Hawaii, though, that's a commercially farm grow the plants here. Now, there they call them terra. So what they want for them, there's a tuber that grows on the bottom of it. You take that tuber, they boil it down, crush it up, it's like a paste. They make a dish of poi out of it. I never had poi, but I pretty much get 50 50 with it. Only if I got somebody on one tour that likes it. My next tour, somebody's like, ah. Heard it sour, sweet, salty, and bland. Now I get the blandness though, because a lot of meat in Hawaii is salt here, so it just kind of helps balance out that saltiness in the dishes. And I've also had a lot of people in the boat from India as well, and they eat a lot too. And I tell me how you cook it depends on your texture. If you boil a little bit, it kind of gets like a water chestnut. Keep going down though, we'll go like a potato. And maybe like terra chips, like a potato chips. They can strike 15 feet as well. Coming here in the springtime, you bump them into a tree here. See them slither off the bottom. Of it. <laughs> 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 they just go out down the back. They're not bad. That's one of the most common. They 